Okay, so here we have a Lasco Ventilador de Caja de Circulation de Air. Oh, this is the wrong side. An air circulating box fan. As opposed to a box fan that does not circulate air, I guess. Now what I'm going to do, does this tripod have an easy way? No, it does not have an easy way to remove the camera. Alright, tornado everybody. Tornado camera, okay. So, this is Alaska. This one is a model B20200, which I believe is just a... They, it came from Walmart, I believe that was that's not where i bought it from but it came from walmart i believe that is the walmart model designation but this is just a lasco 3733 i believe the 3733 might have a circle here at least some of them did anyway uh billy true seems to love these fans so i went ahead and picked one up <laughs> Now, he claims that these fans move 8,000 CFM, but I really find that hard to believe. The, uh, the box says that it moves 1,710, and you know that the box is over-exaggerating. Anyway, um, this is the Lasco air circulating box fan. It moves, supposedly, 1,710 CFM. There's a picture of it in a window, and it says it's a uh, weather-resistant motor for worry-free window use. Uh, it's got three quiet speeds, top mounted controls, easy carry handle, and a one year you're screwed if it breaks anyway warranty. Now, uh, on the side, that's Mexican again, Spanish air circulating box fan. It's got the claims uh, fan type, portable. Oh, let's see, what is this? This is a box. I guess they're calling it a circulator. Why is floor... Are they calling this a floor fan? This is a box fan. Cubic feet per minute CFM is a measurement of airflow volume passing a stationary point in the span of one minute. 2020 Lasco Products LLC made in USA with domestic and imported parts. If somebody can read that... Well, I think that's just a price. On the bottom, it doesn't really say anything important, so I'm going to go ahead and put you back on the tripod. So get ready for Dizzy Batman again here. This tripod has no nice quick release. That would be, would have been something I would have appreciated having. Okay. What do I have that I can open this with? Get something sharp. Scissors will work. I don't... I don't know. It says do not open with a knife. Do scissors... Are scissors okay? They're gonna have to be. So I'm simply gonna cut the tape on the top. Oh, uh, here we go. Lasco cares about the planet. Well, that's debatable. Please do not... Please do your part. For environmentally responsibility... Dispo for environmentally responsible disposal of this product, contact your local waste service provider or visit 1-800-RECYCLING.COM. Does anybody ever do that? So we want to cut towards ourselves. Don't we? Okay. Can you see this? Sure. Okay, in the box, first we have, obviously, our fan, and I think that's all that's going to come out. Yep, there's nothing else in the box. <laughs> okay, here's the, the fan. Now, one thing that I would recommend doing, if you get one of these, the minute you get this, because everyone seems to have a problem with this. These fans, if you've seen them before, you know that if you put it on high, wow, it's on high. It's not even turned off. I would have the switch on off from the factory. These things like to tip over. This one is 
either this fan is uneven on the bottom, or look at that. It's kind of crappy. Anyway, uh, if you put them on high, these things like to tip over. A lot of people don't use these for some reason, but they give you these little feet, and they're just you just clip them into the back of the fan, and they're little feet that uh, that keep it from tipping over. And I just broke it. Lovely. Okay. Go in there. Oh, okay, I don't want to break it again. There we go. Well, I don't even see even now, is it? Shit. Uh, anyway, uh... <laughs> I just bought this damn thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, the quality of these is deplorable. Uh, these aren't that terrible. We'll talk about that in a minute. Sometimes they do have weird defects. It's got the blue plug, which is a fused safety plug. There's a piece of plastic there, like these blades were not molded exactly correct. Um, so that's great. But what I'll do is I'll just get like a little, here we go, a little rubber foot off of like a computer or something and stick it there. And that'll work. Okay, here's the little booklet they give you. Um, which is just... Advertenkia. Oh, that's the wrong side. Warning. I'll, I'll read it off camera because I can't see it. This fan is for residential use only. is not to be used in, in, in commercial, industrial, or agricultural settings. So I can't put this in the barn with my horses? Shit, that's what I was going to do. I was going to blow this on my horses to circulate the smell of horse shit around. Don't ask me why I bought this. Um, okay. Once again, I did not pay the full original price for this. I actually bought it along with something else. And here's a little teaser on that. And it was only $7.99. So, uh, you know, it's a functioning fan. I'm assuming it's functioning. It says, do not use this fan where flammable vapors are present, okay? Do not use this fan in agricultural facilities, including areas with hay, grain, or feed is stored, or where livestock, poultry, or animals are confined. Do not run cord under throw rugs or similar coverings. Do not allow furniture or heavy objects to rest on the cord, and do not route the cord under cord under furniture or appliances. No shit! The blue plug on your Lasco fan is a safety feature. It contains a non-replaceable safety device, which is a fuse, that should not that should not be removed or tampered with. To reduce the risk of fire, electrical shock, or per personal injury, do not attempt to remove, replace, or repair, or tamper with the original supplied plug. If the fan has stopped functioning, it may be due to the safety device and the plug. Oh, okay. Fan has a polarized plug. One blade is wider than the other. The plug is designed to fit in an outlet only one way. Match the wide blade. Oh my god, you have instructions on how to plug it in? Are people really this stupid? Match the wide blade of the plug to the wide blade of the slot in the outlet and fully insert. Do not attempt to touch metal prongs. Do not attempt to bypass or defeat this safety feature. If the plug does not fit in the outlet, consult a qualified electrician. The outlet may need to be replaced. Geez, how old of a house are we living in that doesn't have polarized plugs? I mean, geez. And, 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 uh... How did I plug anything else in? I think I think every house by now pretty much has polarized plugs, and if it doesn't, you're having issues with other stuff, not just fans. Okay, do not use the fan outdoors near water, 
bathtubs, swimming pools, or hot tubs or other wet locations. Do not depend on the on-off switch as sole means of disconnecting power to the fan when cleaning, moving, servicing, servicing, oh. Always unplug the fan when servicing or not in use. Is, is anybody going to service these? Never operate the fan with a damaged cord or plug, okay. Do not leave children unattended while the fan is in use. What? Oh my god. Okay. Is little Johnny going to... I can't even... I mean, what? Even if you did get your finger in there, what damage would it cause? Jeez. I mean, let's get... Let's get real here. Let's get little Johnny to play with this fan here. Little Johnny would love this fan. Okay. Or should I say Christopher? Maybe... Christopher, Billy True's kid, uh, shouldn't, sh Billy True, don't leave your kid playing around this Lasco box fan, you already, you already are having enough problems. Alright, operation, plug the fan into a standard outlet, using the factory, using the rotary switch, set the speed as desired. Alright, now here's the maintenance, uh, tips, okay, maintenance tips, how are we going to maintain this, uh, wonderful piece of machinery? To clean the fan, use a soft, mo use a soft moisturized cloth with mild soap solution. A soft moisturized cloth. Yes, let me use my soft moisturized cloth. Okay. Never immerse electrical parts in water. Never use gasoline, paint thinner, hard cleansers, etc. Who the f hell would clean a fan with gasoline oh yes let me clean it let me just dump some gasoline on it be certain that the fan is completely dry before plugging in okay um yeah i guess they say that there is somebody out there who would do that and uh attempt to attempt to sue them Lubrication is not required as your fan has permanently lubricated bearings. Bullshit. There's no such thing as a permanently lubricated motor. These motors, this is a PSC motor that these things have. And you can take them apart and you can lubricate the bearings. And if they get dry, it is definitely a good idea. They don't want you to do it though. Uh, okay. It says how to put the feet on, and it says, uh, it tells you about lubrication, or not lubrication, it tells you about the warranty. Now, I like that the, 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 oh god, what do you call that, illustration of putting the, uh, feet on is showing an older style Lasco box fan with the full size box. Anyway, uh. Let's see here. The grill isn't like in the middle here. See, there's more of a gap here than there is here, but there's also more of a gap here. Anyway, let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it runs. Here we go on low. All right, we'll go ahead and ramp that up to medium. You can see the fan is out of balance. It's shaking a bit. They don't really put too much care into making sure everything is precise. Out of the high. Now this is where it should be moving 8,000 CFM. We have a gentle breeze. <laughs> um, no, it, it runs okay. These fans... Uh, we'll go ahead and turn it off now. It runs decent. Uh, it, it, they, they, these fans, a lot of people don't like them. But here, here's the thing, okay? If we're talking about something like an old Lakewood fan, it's going to be a lot better than this. Or even an old Lasco or something like that. It's going to be a lot better than this. However, you can go to Walmart right now, because I, cause I, cause I looked it up. You can go to Walmart right now and buy this exact fan for $22. And 
I know you're thinking, okay, a lot of people, yeah, that's no more, the, the old ones, they were the same price. Yes, they were. I have a Lakewood K223, that's the Kmart branded one, that is uh, from 1980, and it cost, I think it was $17.99 when it was new, but it was in 1980. Now, if you take that and calculate for the inflation, there's a thing online called the inflation calculator. There's several of them, and you can see what that same item would cost today. And if you put that in there, those fans would cost around $65 to $70. Okay, so if, if somebody, if your average Joe went into the Walmart and saw a fan, just wanted a box fan, and they saw one $65 or $70, they would have a heart attack. People want cheap, so they get cheap. These Lasco fans aren't too terrible. They really aren't. They're not great, but I don't think that they're terrible. I'm going to pull the camera off of the tripod again. The most common problem on these fans is this motor, which is the smaller motor. Oh, really, the motor. Um, the smaller motor and the problem is that these holes vent holes are so small they get dust in them and nobody cleans the dust out of these and when they get pa paked they get paked when they get packed with dust then uh, the motor will run hot and the thermal fuse inside of the motor will open up and when that happens, the fan will no longer run, which is bad because it doesn't work. And at that point, many people will throw them away. However, you can change the thermal fuse. I don't know if I'd say it was worth it, but you can change the thermal fuse if you wanted to. Also, they uh, have issues with the lubrication. Like mentioned, there's no such thing as a permanently lubricated motor. All motors need lubrication. It's just that it's designed so that when the bearings get dry, you're supposed to get rid of the fan. But you can still open them up and re-lubricate the motor if you want to. And if you keep the motor well lubricated and you keep dust out of it, these fans will last a decent life. I've seen some of the earlier model ones with this same motor last a lot longer. They're really not that bad. Yes, they're cheap. And if you're comparing it to something, an older model, vintage model, they are not nearly as good. However, they're not terrible. And for the price that they cost, they're actually pretty good. They do run quite well. They do move a good amount of air. So, that's about all I have to say about the modern Lasco 3733. It is definitely not the be best fan in the world like Billy True seems to think it is. And it definitely does not move 8,000 CFM like Billy True seems to think it does. But it's not a completely terrible fan. In fact, it can be quite a useful fan, and I do plan on using this fan. As for this plastic piece that broke off, yes, the plastic, the grills, yes, it's thin plastic, it's cheap plastic. However, I did have the whole thing resting on that one foot, and I was pushing on it. So although, no, it should not have broken as easily as it did, I definitely was applying too much pressure there. Um... Now, a vintage one obviously would not have broken then, but it's okay. These are okay fans. They're not absolutely horrible. They're not great by any means, but they're okay.